guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sweden we have snow finally my kids are having a snowball fight I'm just waiting for one of them to start uh, crying because it always ends up like that that maybe we have it right there I don't know anyway I reached out to my uh, friends at Phoebus and asked them to send me the new aged steel Proteus watch the PY028 so I could compare it with the aged steel spinnaker watch that my brother has and it's gonna be a real cool comparison so uh, join me to the table and let's leave these two mad uh, madmen leave them with the war <laughs> see you at the table you know when I do these types of videos I um, compare two or more watches with one another and I usually don't have a clear winner per se. I'm just showing you uh, several watches, comparing the specs and talking about uh, some pros and cons and stuff. But this time I actually have one of these two watches that I prefer over the other and that I would actually pick for myself if it was mine to pick. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's see which watches we have in front of us here. On the left we have the Spinnaker Rec SP5065. This is the previous model of the Rec. They actually have a new model out uh, now. And uh, this is my brother's watch. And as you can see, uh, it's not on an original Spinnaker uh, leather strap. He, um, he actually changed the strap for this uh, nice brown vintage looking uh, I think it's a really good strap he's bought here but it's not the original spinnaker strap so I'm not gonna be able to compare the straps we're only gonna talk about the watches uh, and on the right side we have the Phoebus Proteus PY028C uh, nice looking watch on the original strap as you can see Phoebus marking over there and uh, I'm gonna run down the specs and I'm gonna actually uh, tell you which one of these two watches I would prefer to wear on my wrist and these two watches are actually both uh, aged stainless steel uh, watches they're both uh, both supposed to be uh, divers in some uh, some way they're both uh, with black dials and um, they have a lot of things in common they both come originally on a leather strap and so on they both have date windows they both use the same movement and yeah but we're getting way ahead of ourselves let's just just take the Phoebus out of the equation and let's talk about about the Spinnaker Rec. Some specifications here we have a 316 L stainless aged steel you can see it's a really nice aging effect on the steel it's uniform all the way around I think I don't see any spots where they've aged it a bit more or less it's uh, looking really great the movement inside here is the Seiko NH35 with a 40 hours power reserve. Uh, case diameter 43 millimeters. Thickness 14.5 millimeters. Lug width 22 millimeters. And lug to lug 50 millimeters. We have a weight of 130 grams. We have a mineral glass water resistance 100 meters as you can see there we have a unidirectional aluminum bezel and I actually don't know how many clicks th this watch is I tried counting them but I counted uh, eight clicks to the first uh, position and then seven to the next I really don't know uh, about the clicks but um, if you want to hear the clicks here they come Assuring clicks, you see the bezel has some back play uh, even when it's positioned and uh, as you can see it is not perfectly aligned. Oh, I went too far there, sorry for that. 
Uh, I know you hate watching this, but I just have to align it pro properly. But because of the back play, you can actually align it yourself. But it's not it's not staying in position. This is the the right position as it should be, right there. But it's more like uh, leaning to the right, as you can see. We have a display back showcasing the uh, Seiko NH35 movement there. I'm gonna zoom in a little. You can see there. Japan movement 24 jewels and then that rotor with the spinnaker branding ah, the NH35 is nothing special to look at but it's a reliable movement it's a workhorse it, it does its job I've actually changed my mind on the Seiko NH35 because I um, at first I didn't like it I thought it was a cheap basic movement and they use it on all homage micro brand watches but I've come to appreciate it for what it is it's a workhorse it gets the job done and uh, yeah nothing wrong with that as you can see there's some uh, branding on the backside water resistant 100 meters the model number automatic movement all stainless steel and you can see we have a stamped crown there with the spinnaker uh, logo and you can see the uh, the uniform aging of the case it's really beautiful actually beautifully done nothing wrong with it whatsoever the ridges even the bezel is um, aged and as you can see on the bezel insert it is also aged we have some those scratches are actually not done by my brother this is called a wreck because it's supposed to be a watch that is you know uh, washed up ashore and uh, been to the sea and uh, rugged and uh, yeah, filthy and you can see the dial we have some texturing on the dial it's uh, all messed up and uh, yeah and uh, yeah uh, we have a date window at the three o'clock with a black uh, backdrop perfect because the dial is black it's almost black I think it's like a black brown or something yeah and uh, it comes with a two-year warranty perfectly fine watch uh, nothing wrong with it it's uh, does what it does and it does it really good and the price on this watch is two hundred and eighty dollars I don't think you can buy it anymore because this is the as I said the previous model uh, but I think the new model is priced almost somewhere uh, at the same place at the same price range okay let's put the spinnaker down and let's take out the co contender the Phoebus Proteus PY028C uh, specifications here 316 stainless aged steel as you can see also perfectly done nothing nothing that m makes your eyes bleed uh, and cry because it's it's you can see it's perfectly smooth all the way we don't have any spots with more aging or less aging and uh, it looks really nice attention to detail and uh, it looks great there you have the back I I don't know what what I don't know why but I really like the aged steel look it looks really rugged and tough and uh, like the watch has been through uh, something really horrible but it hasn't because it's brand new <sighs> let's continue with the specifications here we have uh, movement inside here is also the Seiko NH35 with a 40 hours power reserve we have a diameter of 42 millimeters we have a thickness of 13 millimeters and we have a lug width of 22 millimeters and a lug to lug of 49 millimeters so it's a little bit of a smaller watch than the spinnaker we actually have one millimeter uh, smaller on the diameter we have uh, actually one and a half millimeters thinner and uh, the same lug width and one millimeter smaller on the lug to lug and then the weight is 120 grams and that's 10 grams less than the spinnaker so it's going to be a lighter watch but even though it's lighter we have a double domed sapphire glass with three layers of anti-reflective coating on the inside 
and that by itself in my humble opinion would make me pick this watch instead of the spinnaker because I don't know why I know you can use poly watch to uh, scrub off the scratches on a mineral glass but I really like to have sapphire glass on my watches if a watch doesn't have sapphire glass unless it's a vintage watch it's a deal breaker for me but let's uh, continue the water resistance 300 meters instead of just 100 on the spinnaker and we actually have a unidirectional ceramic bezel 120 clicks this is what it sounds like it's really easier to uh, rotate than the spinnaker but it has no back play whatsoever if you position it it stays in position you cannot and if you uh, it's actually quite easy to rotate but it feels perfectly it feels perfectly perfectly uh, good uh, just the way a uh, bezel should feel it aligns perfectly it has solid clicks positive sound just take a uh, listen again so you you knowing when you're turning it it stays in place no back play and most importantly perfectly aligned i cannot stress that enough it's perfectly aligned yeah uh, let's take a look at uh, let's get a closer look here at the dial you see the phoebus octopus at the 12 o'clock and you see the second hand it has a it looks like a lightning it's a I think the Rolex Milgauss is uh, most famous for that type of hand. We have a date window at the 3 o'clock. It's not with the black uh, backdrop, which actually, this is a preference of taste. As you can see on the spinnaker, the date window, ah, too bad it's obscured, but you can see it. Uh, it's a little uh, blends in with the dial, but you can still see it because they framed the date window. And uh, the date window on the Phoebus here, you can you can spot it. It's far more legible than on the Spinnaker, but it's it actually it, it distracts. It takes some of the attention away from the dial. Uh, because it's with the white backdrop so uh, it's uh, whatever you prefer you want legibility uh, then the Phoebus wins because you can see the date easier but if you want the date to blend in on the dial then the spinnaker is actually better so uh, let's take away the spinnaker and let's focus on the Phoebus <laughs> again uh, here we go and we have the strap. I was not going to talk about the strap, but I just have to mention that this strap is a uh, Italian vintage leather strap made in Italy. Even though the watch is Chinese, the leather here is made in Italy and it feels really soft to the touch, well made, thick, and uh, when you wear it on your wrist, it feels really good. You can see we have the Phoebus name on the buckle there we have some stitching it's a really nice strap and actually with this watch you also get a rubber strap in the box as you can see in my unboxing uh, it's a nice bonus to have because it's a 300 meters diver and uh, you wouldn't want to be diving with the, the leather strap so it's a nice option to have uh, to so you can exchange it uh, it's a really nice looking watch I'm loving the 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 aged details on the hour markers and uh, minute markers and uh, our hands it's it's a really nice looking watch and when we're talking about loom we have to talk about loom there's really really no contest at all spinnaker i couldn't find out what type of loom they're using uh, and basically it's because the loom is nothing to write home about the Phoebus they use BGW9 on the upper dial and uh, old radium on the hands indices and the bezel markings and this the loom on the Phoebus is really there's no contest here as you can see in the in the footage here
it beats the spinnaker easily uh, Phoebus have a really nice really great loom I think they have the best loom in the price range that they're at I haven't seen I mean Zelos have really excellent loom but Zelos are actually far more expensive than uh, Phoebus watches so uh, when it comes to loom there's no contest the Phoebus wins uh, the price on the Phoebus is actually uh, $100 more it's $380 give or take but they have a 15% discount and uh, if you use the discount code the price drops down to $320 that's just $40 more than the spinnaker wreck and let's just think about what you're getting here uh, on these two watches for $40 more on the Phoebus just zoom in a little there there we have them no actually I won't I'll zoom out and pick them up for forty dollars more you get a sapphire glass you get 300 meters water resistance instead of 100 you get a ceramic bezel insert instead of aluminum uh, you get a superior loom over here sure you get the uh, you get three layers of anti-reflective coating uh, you have the same movement that's for sure and uh, you have basically the same dimensions this is a little smaller a little lighter but you get a Italian leather vintage leather you don't get that even the original leather on the spinnaker is not Italian leather sure you get a open uh, case back watch on the spinnaker but in my honest opinion the NH35 is not that particular of a movement that it needs a uh, <laughs> uh, open back like this and if you have a closed case back like this one it's actually beautiful with the Phoebus octopus there it, it actually I think it um, uh, increases the water resistance so I would much rather prefer a closed back than an open back since it increases the water resistance I can't say anything about the aged metal look because I actually think they're both really well made. Uh, I think that the Phoebus might be a, a tad darker than the Spinnaker, but as you can see, it's it's a really nice look. You can see that the Phoebus here has a more angular look to the to the whole case, to the whole watch, and the Spinnaker is more of a classic. Uh, tapering lugs there we have a great tapering over there as well uh, this is what they look like with both the crowns and there we have them so let's put them on the wrist and just uh, showcase them a little I like how this watch looks. It's a, it's a, a cool look. I'm really a fan of the aged steel look. Even uh, since the first time, you know, I bought my uh, Casio uh, uh, Square with the aged steel look. I really loved that watch for a while. Uh, and it became, in the end, it became a little uncomfortable to wear. But uh, I'm liking the aged steel and how it looks and uh, I'm liking the spinnaker as well as you can see it's uh, you can see that uh, our markers and uh, hands they have a greenish tint to them and maybe I'm not a big fan of that but uh, it is what it is I'm really liking the red second hand there and this is how the Phoebus looks on the wrist really prefer this look there's something about the combination of the uh, patina the our hands minute markers our our hands and our markers and our minute hand and that Milgauss second hand is actually blending in quite well uh, I really like the strap and I really enjoy this watch I enjoy wearing it I enjoy enjoy showing it to you guys and uh, it's a really nice watch and as you can uh, probably tell uh, which watch 
I would choose. I would, without a doubt, let me switch hands just because of it. Without a doubt, I would choose the Phoebus in this case. It's a superior watch and with the discount code you're just paying $40 more for this watch and you get so much more. You get sapphire, you get ceramic, you get 200 meters of water resistance, two years warranty. Phoebus Watches Nordic have a great customer service. No issues whatsoever with those guys. I have to give them a shout out because they actually sent me this watch uh, for the unboxing and for uh, actually for this comparison. They had confidence enough. I told them I was going to compare it to the Spinnaker Rec and they said do what you have to do, say what you have to say and they really trust their uh, products and it for me personally it blows the Spinnaker Rec out of the water for just forty dollars more. Nothing wrong with the Spinnaker they uh, they're actually I think they're quite similar brands because they have a Phoebus they started out with a Submariner homage what watch with the PY007 but now they've uh, uh, discontinued that model and they only have original watches in their collection as well as Spinnaker also have they have original watches they're really affordable and uh, a lot of them have the Seiko movements inside of them but Phoebus is on a totally different level. I actually had a friend in a watch Swedish watch group. He bought a Spinnaker a couple of months ago and it was dead on arrival and he had a hell uh, with the customer service. Uh, he went through hell with those guys. So I'm really uh, the Spinnaker brand for me. I don't know if I trust them enough to uh, give them my money but Phoebus uh, this video is sponsored in that way that they sent me the watch as they have sent me all the, the other watches from them for the video but I don't get to keep the watch I send it right back so I don't get pay for the, paid for this and I'm giving you my honest opinion it blows the spinnaker out of the water that's it for me guys uh, what do you think which of these guys would you buy would you uh, want to pay $40 more for the Phoebus and get those extra nice specifications? Or would you stick to the Spinnaker? Maybe you think the Spinnaker looks better with the classic look on the case shape. and uh, with the It's a more classy look, it actually is. Uh, which one would be your choice? As always, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, please consider giving it a thumbs down. And just uh, write me what you didn't like and I'll try to do better in the next one. I know I promised to keep my videos shorter, but it's a comparison video. It's not easy to keep it short. It is what it is. Uh, and if you really like the video and if you like my other content and would like to see more, please consider subscribing and I'll do my best to... Uh, make high quality videos and with that I'm gonna leave you uh, have a nice day and until I see you again bye bye